Enter the arena, D. Don Juan Banks, the best MMA analyst on YouTube today, Tommy Razorstein, and we're talking about this impending mega fight that is about to take place. Conor McGregor, he made terroristic threats saying that he would be head Rafael Dos Anjos in front of the Brazilian fans. Uh, uh, this is very, very serious. This is a terroristic threat. And um, he, he is going to be fighting for his second title after winning the UFC featherweight championship, now fighting for the UFC lightweight championship at UFC 197 uh, on March 5th, 2016. Tommy Razorstein, you said you want to speak from the gate. What, what's going through your mind right now? That's pretty crazy that um, there's also another red flag within the, the time period of, of the last time I said, watch out, there might be more red flags. Remember I said that, Don? I remember. And that's a problem. It's, a, it's like I, I said it before. When Jones started – doing and saying crazy shit. I was like, you know what? It's not a big deal now, but there's red flags and whether there's smoke, there's fire. I'm starting to question, you know, will Conor McGregor be another, you know, maniac like John Jones? Will he be able to walk that fine line without doing something freaking crazy? You know what I mean? Like getting a fight in a bar or drinking and driving, something insane. Will he be able to toe that line? So I really question, you know, his ability to do that. It's not like someone like Dan Henderson. Dan Henderson has that like, you know, I'm a wrestler, family guy kind of attitude. I just want to work on my farm. And just do family stuff, which is fine. You know, Chris Weidman. Chris Weidman's a great example of that. You know, you're not afraid that Chris Weidman's going to get himself arrested. But Conor McGregor, it wouldn't surprise me if he were to get arrested within the year. Tommy Razorstein, uh, we're, we're going to read this article for the fans real quick and yourself. Uh, this is real. If someone believes that this is not real, then you're about to find out. We're going to MMAfighting.com, Razorstar. Listen to this. Unimpressed with Irish man's uh, Irish amateur belt, Rafael Dos Anjos says Conor McGregor is out of his mind. UFC featherweight champion Conor McGregor looks to make history on March 5th, but Rafael Dos Anjos won't make it easy. McGregor moves up in weight to challenge the lightweight champion at UFC 197, which is just around the corner. You got to take that time to subscribe right now. Las Vegas, Nevada. Tommy Razorstein predicted this was going to happen. If he can beat those Anjos, McGregor would be the first UFC champ to simultaneously hold a pair of title belts in the promotion. McGregor held the same honor in his native Ireland when he held titles at 145 and 155 pounds for cage warriors, but Dos Anjos isn't impressed. UFC lightweight division isn't the belt he got in Ireland when he fought a guy with a record of two and seven. Dos Anjos told MMAfighting.com it's a different world. He fought guys that don't even have show sure dog pages. He holds belts off his amateur show in Ireland. It's a different story to hold two UFC belts. Lightweight division is a different story. We'll see. Everyone Everybody talks. Anthony Pettis talked before the fight. Donald Cerrone talked before the fight. See what happened? I'll let him talk, and we'll see what happens. I hope he's training hard. I think he's going to be scared once I hit him. A number of lightweights have chipped at, chirped at McGregor, but the allure of breaking more ground in the UFC was too much for McGregor to pass up. He doesn't have anything to lose, said Dos Anjos. He's a smart guy. He knows that if he loses um, featherweight contenders, Jose Aldo and Frankie Edgar, he doesn't have anything. But at lightweight, if he wins, he's the man. If he loses, he still has his belt. 
I don't feel any pressure. I have to take care of my family, my team, my legacy. It's one more fight. There isn't anything special in this fight. I'm just happy to put my hands on the guy and make him humble, Razor Stein and the fans of Vincent Arena. I think the toughest part of this camp will not be putting my hands on him before the fight happens. McGregor didn't waste much time rolling out his tra trademark trash talk. As soon as the fight was announced, McGregor posted a message calling Dos Anjos a traitor to Brazil, and the Irishman vowed to behead the American gringo in the name of La Brasilia. Dos Anjos moved his family from Rio de Janeiro in 2012 and trains full-time at King's MMA in Huntington Beach, California, with famed trainer Rafael Cardero. Dos Anjos believes Aldo fell prey to McGregor's trash talk, but insists he'll walk into the octagon with cold blood. It doesn't make any sense, Dos Anjos said to McGregor comments. We have a lot of Brazilians in the United States. It doesn't mean we're traitors to our country. I've got kids. I have. I had to move for different things like better wrestling training partners here. I think that was a frustrated way to try to win the Brazilian fans. This guy is out of his mind. He's going to try to do his best to try to mess with my head. I don't hate him, but the Brazilians do. Brazilian is on my side. Brazil is on my side. Dos Anjos defends the lightweight title to McGregor, March 5th, Tommy Razorstein, the main event of UFC 197. Also, Misha Tate versus Holly Holm. Listen, uh, uh, Tommy Razorstein, right off the bat, he called Rafael Dos Anjos a traitor for living in the United States training here. And he also said he would behead him, a terroristic threat. <sighs> Maybe they'll just say it's promotional. You know what I mean? Because Anderson Silva said that he would break every bone in Chael Sonnen's body and he wouldn't leave the octagon. But he didn't say he would die. So maybe they'll write it off as nothing important. I think as soon as you cross that line of, like, someone will die and you say that a person will die, you cross that line. And they may take it serious. I doubt it. But you never know what people do. Nick Diaz was looking at five-year suspension for smoking marijuana repeatedly. Now, Diaz um, is, only has 18 months on that suspension. So they may do something like that where they – try to crack down and act all hard and tough and then they give they give way. Do you know what I mean, Don? Yes. Yes. So you could see something like that. I think I think I think we're having some little bit of I think McGregor may be trying too hard to get into Rafael Dos Anjos' head. I think maybe he needs to do what he's doing right now because I hear that he's sparring with an, uh, a top boxer in Ireland. And I, I think that making comments like that is pro for promotional reasons. I can see it for promotional reasons, but a lot of people are going to take that as a terroristic threat. I mean, to say you're going to behead a man, Razor Stein, when have you heard that? I mean, yeah, see, that's the thing. Beheading the thing people. You say you don't like Conor McGregor for. You like Conor McGregor, but you don't like some of the things that he says. You say that some of the things he say are just way out of the line, like he's going to teabag uh, Chad Mendes. It's unnecessary. It's totally unnecessary. And I think it takes away from his intelligence. Because if you listen to him talk about kinesiology and movement, and breaking down technique, he is brilliant. He's very intelligent. He's a very, very intelligent person. But I think when he gets in these exchanges where he just talks trash and says he's going to teabag people, put his nuts on people's head, and all this other crazy shit, I think it takes away from how intelligent he really is. He's a really smart guy, Don. I mean, 
If you can bring up some of his you know, videos about how he talks about movement, it's freaking awesome. How he talks about, you know, uh, the kinesiology of fighting, beautiful. They don't really show that too much either. You, those videos are hard to find. But when you do find them, it's like, wow, this guy's a really intelligent guy. They should show that a lot more than the shit talking. I'm sorry, that is uh, my phone buzzing. I know so many people are hitting you up because of this fight that's about to take place. You predicted that this fight was going to happen, that one of the, the biggest fight in UFC history. We were just watching Rafael Dos Anjos train. I think Conor McGregor has talked himself into a corner. He has backed himself in a corner. But sometimes they say when a cat is backed in the corner, that is when they're the most vicious. Conor McGregor with his movement, the movement coach, I believe that may buy him some time in this fight. The way that I see Rafael Dos Anjos strike his aggressiveness and his he is he does not this man has no fear. Okay, he doesn't he doesn't care. He 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 is not unfazed. He is unfazed. And so Conor McGregor should now be focused on training instead of what he's saying. Now, in the Jose Aldo fight, he was able to get into Rafael Dos Anjos, I mean, uh, Jose Aldo's head. But I believe that Rafael Dos Anjos is a different type of beast, and he knows that Connor is at a disadvantage coming up to his weight. Now, some people will say, well, Don Juan, and you can tell me how you feel about this, Tommy. You're wrong. You know, Connor has to cut a lot of weight to get down to 145 pounds, feather weight. So he's going into, you know, a more comfortable situation at lightweight. I disagree with that. I don't believe that Connor McGregor's strength and his punching power, his kicking, will resonate in the lightweight division. I think him being bigger plays in a, a advantage in the featherweight division. What do you... What so do, do you I. Mean? So do I. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Razor Stein. Thank you. So do I. I didn't want to seem crazy here. No, no, you're not crazy. I mean, he is a big, you know, featherweight, and he looks great as a featherweight. He looks perfect. You know when Frank Yeager was fighting at lightweight, and you're like, are you sure you want to stay at lightweight, Frankie? Why I want to do that? And after so long. And everyone was questioning him. Why don't you drop down? Why don't you drop down? And when he dropped down, it's like, dude, that's the weight class. That's the mm -hmm. weight class for you. And you can see it. Same thing. I think I liked Leo Machida better at middleweight than I did at light heavyweight. It's like I looked at Leo Machida. I'm like, ah, oh, you know what? I like him as a middleweight a lot better. Mm -hmm. You know, there's certain people who 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 fill out better, you know, and perform a lot better at certain weight classes. They're too big and bulky, you know, as, as certain weight classes. <laughs> but Anderson Silva, I liked him better as a light heavyweight. I thought he looked great as a light heavyweight. But his, his, his physique was at a light heavyweight. I thought he looked great then, but that's me. I think Rampage would be great as a heavyweight. I, I think, think, so. I, think I think Conor McGregor is a little crazy thinking that he's going to go against people like Rafael Dos Anjos or um, Cowboy Cerrone. Cowboy Cerrone's um, big, dude. He's a big, big lightweight. I mean, he's so like with well Took him out in the first round. Mm. Now, what Connor did to get this fight 13 second knockout, let's talk about the this, this strategy, the this style. Right now, we're watching Connor McGregor train. He's, he said, he's training. McGregor has said it has made multiple statements wanting to get in the boxing ring for a pro bout. You know, that was what um, Rousey was talking about. I want to get in boxing, I want to get in jujitsu. McGregor. It is seen in this video sparring with pro Irish boxer Patrick Highland, 31 and 1, 14 KOs, and show us why MMA versus boxers is a MMA setting. An MMA setting may never work in the boxer's favor. But 
what we need now is Conor McGregor in the ring sparring, not the, the cage, because he's going to need as much as he can in the stand-up. Now, Tommy Razorstein, if he's giving up strength, he has to be working on speed and timing. What, what, what do you think McGregor can do in this fight? With the skills McGregor has, what is the game plan you come up for him with this fight? Well, the first thing, you know, you want to use is his mental game plan. Mm-hmm. That works. That has been working amazingly. Oh, my God. I mean, if there's one thing that Conor McGregor has been doing right, is the psychological warfare. Holy shit, man. I have never seen someone be so successful with mental warfare than Conor McGregor. He's the best, I think. And I love Chael Sonnen. Love Chael Sonnen. But I don't think anyone's been more effective with a mental warfare game plan than Conor McGregor. And Rafael Dos Anjos... He's a real nice guy. <laughs> real nice guys have a hard time with mental warfare. That, like, you know, nice like guy so won't be one of our friends. Those guys usually don't do well with mental warfare. But Razorstein, I have to, in his defense, he's been answering questions very logically. And he's giving his side. He says he's not a traitor. He says that many people move from Brazil and train in the United States. Um, I mean, I heard you be very vocal on that with Anderson Silva. You know, and United States and not coming. I mean, do you do you feel that the Brazil Brazilians are a traitor for living in the United States? Absolutely, one hundred percent traitor. So, Brazilian. You're basically of the traitor, but you don't agree with his statement of the beheading. No, nah, I'm just kidding. I can't say 100% because I live in fucking South Korea. You know what I mean? People would say, well, you're a traitor <laughs> in a way. But my thing is this, Don. But but let's go into this. Cause people, Let me tell you something right now, Ray Stein. You're basically saying that. He's a traitor. You're saying Rafael Dos Anjos is a traitor. You're saying Anderson Silva is a traitor. You're saying Vandalay is a traitor. You're saying uh, I love Vandalay Silva. I love uh, well, Vandalay Silva. He never fight again. He was just released. But, I don't want to see Vandalay fight anymore because I love Vandalay. If Vandalay fights, he's gonna end up dead. But why do you say that he's a? So you're saying Rafael Dos Anjos is a traitor for training here in the United States? I disagree with that. No, I was just kidding when I said he was a traitor. I'm not serious oh. about that. Okay. Because people be people can call me a traitor for, you know, how you teach in Korea. <laughs> no. Wow. You know, as a teacher, wow. you're a traitor. No. So, I don't want – I'm not saying that. I was just joking. That's serious. But I'm I don't think he's going to withstand the mental torment, Don. That's going to be a big did. deal. I don't think he's faced by it. Wait, wait. What flaws do you see in Dos Anjos? He's answering questions. He's firing back quickly. Jose Aldo was not. He knows how to speak English. Yeah, he does. But the problem is he's not going to be able to do that every single time during this hey, this world tour. Don, Don, Don. I mean, we oh saw a God, world man. tour, Don, with, you know – this is going to be two belts. This is going to be hyped up more than the Jose Aldo fight. This is going to be Conor McGregor trying to take two belts from Brazil and leaving one uh, belt in Brazil. That's what they're going to. That's what it's going to be about, man. Conor McGregor is going to try and take two belts from Brazil back to back. That's nuts. It's crazy, and he's going to have to go, you know, into Brazil. Talk a bunch of shit, and you know what? Rafael Dos Anjos is going to have to look good. And they're going to show, like, you know, highlights of what happens to you after you get the shit talked out of you, <laughs> shit talked to you by Conor McGregor. It's going to be crazy, man. 
This world tour, this isn't going to be a, a standard fight. We saw, fucking, we saw the fucking, we saw the fucking circus, and the circus affects you. <laughs> Thirty seconds, Rosenstein. I got Hopio Dos Anjos. Can you make it official? What, what else? Last thing you want to say? I said Hopio Dos Anjos, hands down, except in Ireland. No one can beat Conor McGregor in Rock Ireland. Nevada. Brock Lesnar can't beat beat him in uh, in Ireland. Not happening. You're, you're out of your mind. You're out of your mind. Nobody can. It's impossible. For Tommy Razorstein live in South Korea is the Don Juan Banks piece. Peace.